Aloha YouTube, it's Kai Turner here to bring you a fresh new video. <laughs> so as you heard right there, that's a cool way to synthesize your own voice and to get any voice and you can clone it and make your own voice on top of it. So I'm going to show you in this guide how to do that. Let's get started. The links to this website and all the subsequent websites will be in the description box below. But let's get into it. So real-time voice cloning is kind of a new feature that has been being developed for the last, I'd say, one year. And there's a lot of different speech synthesizers and speech-to-speech -speech translations like Google, which has been a prominent member in this, as you can see from their AI blog right here, um, all of their different translation sources. They really have been big into the coding metrics of how to take one voice, decode it, and then void code over it so that you can basically transcribe it to say anything. And you can see the entire list of how it's done in, in the transcribe if you're into that type of stuff uh, via also the description, as I said before. But it's really cool in terms of the technology behind how they can synthesize literally any voice. But that brings us to the nowadays coding method. So before you would have to have some coding knowledge and you know know Python and actually be able to code it yourself. But now it's all been basically summed up into a notebook, which if you don't know, is kind of like a, a pre-recorded code that you can run and it does everything. So let's show you how it works. It actually connects to, let's say, a cloud-based uh, network to make it, you know, nice and simple for for those who who are not uh, so technically savvy. And as you can see, it actually downloads the whole entire TensorFlow and all of the necessary components via the internet. So you don't even need to do any coding at this point. The computer does all the coding for you, making it nice and easy. With this method, you can theoretically control and program any voice within just five seconds of audio that's kind of the main takeaway from this whole thing and as you can see right here you can see your active sessions how much ram you're using and the different components of that it'll actually build each of the necessary component parts you'll always get these three errors if you're not um you know building it yourself but basically it's just saying like there's a later version of the uh the the programs that they're using for this specific task. Um, and that's kind of the cool part about notebooks. Notebooks are running in the background. And it's just basically like you borrowing somebody else's code and inputs for that specific task. And as you can see, it builds all the different networks. It, it unpacks the codecs. And the pre-trained zip is one of the coolest things because like there's basically no way it could tell how your voice would sound after five seconds of audio, right? But essentially what the pre-trained zips do is it says, well, if we go through thousands and thousands and thousands of people's voices, we can kind of summarize how your voice will sound just based off of the a few words you've said, you know what I mean? And after it's done encoding and decoding all these things, now you have two options. You can either record uh, a 10 second clip or you can upload your own clip and they can be any amount of, of time. Like let's say, uh, theoretically speaking, you wanted to do it for, uh, like 20 seconds, right? You could do that. Go back, boom, bang, boom, 20 seconds. Now you can have even more data and these type of systems work best, the more data you have. So, if you give it an, a minute worth of, of footage, it'll be even better. If you give it an hour, it'll be even better. But let's give it 20 seconds and see what we're going to get out of that. See if they'll let me upload. Okay, let's do the record. I'm going to show you this whole process with a third party device so that way you can see, uh, you know, how it's going to look. I'm going to record my audio and then meet you back here. Now, what I didn't know is that when you start recording that the audio for both your recording and your spoken audio would be gone. So this whole part from here to the end of the video, you can't hear. So now I have to like basically re-record all of this. But I said, you know what, for YouTube, why not? I'll do it. I'll spend my time to basically edit out all the parts to make it another re-recording.
But essentially you want to record your audio and put it into that. You can do it via your phone or another device, which would make it a lot easier or upload a clip. But I think the recorded audio uh, works a little bit better unless you have a very clear clip that you can put in there. Then edit this sentence into whatever you wanted to say. When you edit one word into it, it will automatically synthesize for you. Just click the synthesize a text function and it'll basically parse the entire thing and put it into uh, like a generated vocoder and replay the sound for you in the automated voice. I'm going to show you how this looks in practice. After recording a voice, you can simply synthesize that text into the voice into any text you want it to say. So it generates the voice, it has the different batch size as you can see right there, and it goes right into it. What are the two people who tested positive? <laughs> and each generation it gets better and better. So the first time is gonna be really bad like this, and then each generation is gonna get a little bit better. That's how machine learning typically works. You can see it's doing it again for the second generation. Still pretty bad. One of the two people who tested positive for the no. You see how much clearer it sounds each generation? And after about four or five generations, it'll sound super clear to the point where it'll sound exactly like the voice you just cloned, which is pretty amazing technology if you if you really break it down. And it automatically does uh, a new generation pretty much every time you uh, update it. So if you put anything in there, it'll generate a new batch and then show you which generation rate it is. So you can see that it's almost perfect in terms of the reproduction accuracy towards the original voice. Each generation is going to get better and better and better to the point where it's almost literally a direct representation of the voice you put it in. That's how good synthesization is. So you can see it gets very, very close to the clone voice that you're trying to clone in that almost perfect. There are many amazing things, technology. Now, if you've noticed in generation six, it even sound more jubilee and bubbly in her voice um, after it's been cloned, which shows that it even starts to pick up like the vernacular and like the subtle personality traits in the voice, which indicates that machine learning is not only identifying what type of voice you have, but also the subtle nuances with your voice. And this is why cloning and voice technology in terms of AI is so important for the future, because we essentially have went from chat rooms to voice chat to FaceTime. And now in this new wave, we're going to be able to do things like even have digital avatars and things of that nature that can represent literally anything you want so you can be anybody you want to be online or have digital personas which would be great for business and speech synthesis think of an ideal world in terms of google where you can be in a foreign country you don't speak the language but you have a pair of headphones in and theoretically through the headphones it could not only translate your voice to the locals but it could also translate their voice into your ears allowing you to hear everything they say in english if you're an English speaker, this technology is super resourceful and is really cool. I think everybody should check it out. The links are in the description box below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description. I mean, leave them in the comment section, <laughs> not the description. Uh, always remember, be nice to yourself, be a good person. And as always, have an awesome day. Peace.